Hey everyone, here's the question from exercise 8.4, second question, chapter is decimal of class 6. Second question is find the value of and we have four questions which are like we have to subtract them. So let's start with the first question. So when you are subtracting the decimals or when you are adding a decimals, you have to use a line up method. You are going to line up the decimals first. So first number is 9.756, right? Now the second number, before you place that, just put the decimal. First you line up the decimal. So decimal should come one below the other. So on the left side of the decimal here, we have a 6. Write down 6, which is a whole part. And the 20 is a decimal part. If you have a decimal point here, the left side is called whole part and the right side is called decimal part. So you have to place according to that. So decimal part is 6, so decimal part is 28. Now we have a, the space over here, you can just put 0. Subtract them. So 6 minus 0 is 6, 5 minus 8 we cannot do it. So we have to take a borrow from 7, 7 will become 6, 5 will become 15. So 15 minus 8 is 7 and 6 minus 2 is 4 we have a decimal place that 6 minus so 9 minus 6 is 3 so 3.476 is the answer then the next one it's 21.05 and place a, dec uh, place a decimal point one below the other that's called lining up on the left side we have 15 so write down 5 and 1 on the right side we have 27 so 27 subtract it so 5 minus 7 we cannot do it it's going to take a borrow from 0 but 0 has a no value it's going to take a borrow from 1 so 1 will become 0 this will become 9 and this will become 15 I'm not explaining how it is I hope you all know you have learned this in lower classes so 15 minus 7 when you do it will get 8 and 9 minus 2 is 7 we have a decimal point place that and 0 minus 5 we cannot do it so take a borrow from 2 2 will become 1 and the 0 will become 10 so 10 minus 5 is 5 1 minus 1 is 0 so 5.78 is the answer then the next question it's 18.5 minus 6.79 so place decimal on the left side we have a 6, you write down 6 here. On the right side we have 79, 7, 9. So 7 and 9, subtracted. Now you can see there's a blank space there beside 5. You can write down 0 if you want to just to avoid the confusion. So 0 minus 9 we cannot do, it's going to take a borrow. We will take a borrow from 5, it will become 4 and this will become 10. So 10 minus 9 is 1. 4 minus 7 we cannot do. We have to take a borrow from 8. 8 will become 7 and 4 will become 14. So 14 minus 7 is 7. We have decimal place that. 7 minus 6 is 1 and then uh, there is no number here. So you can just place a 0 or you can just leave it. So 1 minus 0 it will be 1. So answer is 11.71. Then the last question. It's 11.6 minus 9.847 so first place a decimal on the left side we have 9 so it's gonna come here like this don't write 9 0 it is 9 so always start from decimal you have a decimal point so start placing from the nearest to decimal you start placing don't write 9 0 it will become 90 whereas the number is 9 here on the right side we have 847 so start from decimal so it's 847 so on the top we have a blank space so just put 0 and here we have a blank space so just put 0 now subtract them so 0 minus 7 we cannot do so it's going to take a borrow so this will become 5 this will become 9 and this number will become 10 so 10 minus 7 is 3 9 minus 4 is 5 5 minus 8 we cannot do so it's going to take a borrow from here so this will become 0 and 5 will become 15 15 minus 8 when you do you'll get 7 we have a decimal place that 0 minus 9 we cannot do so this one will become 0 and this 0 will become 10 so 10 minus 9 is 1 so we got 1.753 so this is how you have to subtract the only thing is you have to place the decimal properly once you place it write down the number from nearest to decimal and then subtract it in case you have further question or doubt you can drop a comment i'll try to make a video on it thank you so much for watching